Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. We're talking about Ethernet. Today we want to talk about the physical layer of Ethernet. All right? So we think we know what Ethernet is. I think most of you will say this is an Ethernet cable. Yeah? Typical Ethernet cable. Yeah. There is that's Ethernet. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays it's true. Yeah. But when I Back in the days when I was in school, Ethernet cable looked totally different. Ethernet cable looks like uh, looked like the thing we are connecting now to our satellite dishes, coaxial cable. This was Ethernet cable, huh? so totally, totally different. So there are at least two different physical layers for Ethernet, and I think I tell no secret that there are even more. Yeah? There is a wide standard of Ethernet cables. We will have a look at this, what is inside, or what, what, what are the possibilities of Ethernet, what they are offering, yeah? and there are names. There are names for this, and one, the name usually starts with a number, okay? 10, 100, 1000, whatever, a number. And this number indicating the nominal bit speed. Yeah? So, bit speed. Is the first thing, the first thing written there, and this might be, for instance, 10, 100, nowadays usually 1000, right? Then but there might be 10G. Yeah? So this is the nominal speed of the bits on the wire. And G, this means gigabit per second. And if there is no suffix, then it's megabit per second. So this means 1000 megabit per second. Okay? And then there is the band. Okay? There's the band. And there might be written base, broad, or bass. Usually it's base. That's the usual way. Yeah? Base, broad, or pass. This is baseband, broadband, or passband. Baseband is the signal itself. Yeah, if we're just turning it off and on, broadband would be if we somehow. Uh, modulate this signal and can use a wide area of frequencies and passband. We modulate the signal but can only use a small area of frequency. The passband is usually, you can think about it like a radio station. You tune to a radio station, then around this frequency, there you hear the sound of the radio station. This would be passband, right? Broadband, pff, you can use everything. Yeah? So this is the base. Yeah? And then we have the medium. Media. Usually, right now, usual is is it this cable? Uh, this cable. This is usually marked with T. Uh, twisted pair. What does this mean? Twisted pair. I have here this cable, but I have another cable as well. And now I will. You the focus so that I can show you. We see in there there are the cables, right? Here are the cables inside. Those cables are connected to those those connectors, yeah? and yeah, that's it. But why is it called twisted pair? This, by instance, you see there is no shielding. There's nothing. There's just the cables inside, and there it's written somewhere. A category, what is this type? Category 5. Uh, get 5. That's it. And this here, ah, this here is a category 7 cable. Uh, and here we can see why it's called twisted pair. We have here a pair of wires and they are twisted all the way through the cable. They are twisted all the way through the cable. Here I have removed the shielding. 
here they are still shielded. Yeah? So we have one, two, three, four pairs of twisted twisted bears, yeah, four twisted bears, and each of them is shielded. You see, significantly different to deer. We have deer in here, we have just the wire, and here we have every pair shielded, and also around everything there is even a, a shield a wrapping around. This is a category 7 cable, it's written also somewhere here. This is a category 7 cable. Yeah. So the category somehow indicates how good the shieldings are, how good they are protected from electromagnetic influences or yeah like this huh? this is a twisted bear cable this is the thing which we usually usually identify as ethernet cable all right so that, that's twisted bear this is called you want to focus again t twisted bear then there is also uh, optical fiber specified. Yeah? So there is, for instance, a S. This means short wavelength. This is around 850 nanometers wavelength, optical wavelengths, and usually in multi-mode fiber cables. Yeah? This is S. Then we have an L. This is long wavelength. This is around 1300 nanometers. And this is mostly single mode. Multimode fiber means more than one wavelength can propagate through this fiber, and single mode fiber means only a specific wavelength. So this, this wavelength can propagate through and all other are somehow uh, lowered during. And then there is E Z, uh, this is extra long. Extra long. Wavelengths. This is around 1500 nanometers. And this is single mode fiber. Right? Then it would be also fiber cable uh, B, uh, bidirectional. Wave division, division multiplex, it's called. Uh, then there's a P, passive. Passive optical network. Then there would be a C, copper, copper is called, this is a twin X table. So there are two cores. Yeah. Uh, then K would be back, back plane. So somewhere with, where we don't have very long distances and so it's just the back plane of, of the several components, yeah, and then there is two or five, yeah. This would be a coaxial cable. This is the cable we usually know nowadays from mounting our satellite dishes or our terrestrial antennas and so on. Antenna cables, yeah. This this was the usual cable right now, and this was this this two had one hundred eighty five meters range. And the other one has 500 meters reach. Reach. Okay, it's the reach of the two, two cables. Yeah, so this is the media which is, which is then written. All right? And then we have the coding. Also be there. So there might be an X. This is 8B, 16B block coding. So 8-bit uh, pattern data is 10-bit on the wire. This was the fast Ethernet standard. Okay. 
or there might be an R, which is 84B, 66B, big block coding. Coding of this stuff. And then there might be a lane spare link. So at least the last number there is, for instance, 1, 2, 4, 10, and so on. These are the lanes per link. And in 1, it's the reach. Mm -hmm. So these are the names. These are the names of, of, of Ethernet physical layers. Okay. So let's have a look at some examples. Examples. So we might have, for instance, a uh, ten base two. What does it mean? Let's have a look. Uh, ten is the bit speed. So we have ten megabit. Ten megabit per second. Yeah. Uh, base baseband. I will not write this because it's written base. It's baseband and two. What was two? Is it coaxial cable? One hundred eighty-five meters reach. Yeah. Two coaxial cable. One hundred eighty-five meters. Yeah. Another example would be ten base five. What is this? Yeah. Ten, ten megapixel, Me megapixel. It's not a camera. It's a cable. Yeah. Megabit by second. Yeah. We also have coaxial cable. This five meant coaxial cable, but with five hundred meters reach. Yeah. And what would then be then pasty twisted bear yeah? ten megapixel pixel again megabit per second and we have a twisted bear cable. Such cables I've shown you. What is this 10 base D? Yeah. Uh, we had here around uh, reach. The reach was defined. I say was because it's still defined, but it's obsolete. Yeah. 100 meters per segment. Yeah. And we needed the category 3 or 5 cable. So this cable would be sufficient for 10 base T. All right. Uh, okay. So that's it. Yeah. Then, things still in use. This is more or less obsolete. Yeah. Think, uh, example of what is still in use, but also on declining, very much declining. Yeah. 100 base T. There we had 100 megabit per second. Yeah. Twisted bare cable. The reach is again 100 meter. And here we need a category 5 cable. Category 3 is no longer, it's no longer working. So, eh? Category. Where is now the difference? Yeah, the difference is the coding. 
Yeah? The difference is the coding. Here we have a more efficient coding. Yeah? Here it's, it's, it's Manchester coding and here it's a more efficient coding. Yeah? I, I'm not going to explain what coding is because this is, you know, we are mechanical engineers and not network experts. We just need to know what is behind. Yeah. And you need to know, okay, there is something, something more sophisticated in how to transfer this. Yeah? Then, uh, nowadays in use is the 1000 base D. So we have here 1000 megabit per second. We are still on twisted pair. We have still a reach of 100 meters per segment. And here we need at least category 5E or 6 cable. Okay, so this cable I've shown you where everything is shielded and so on. Yeah, this here, this would be sufficient for gigabit Ethernet, it's also called gigabit Ethernet. This is, this is the thing we usually now have in our homes and so on. Gigabit Ethernet. Yeah. Another example, just to mention it. 40, 400G, base SR16. <laughs> what does it mean? 400 gigabit. Per second. Baseband, S, what went S? Let's have a look. S, short wavelengths, fiber optics. Yeah. R, what was this R? Big block coding. Now uh, that's a woof, uh, big block coding. And 16 lanes. Woo. So you see, there is not only one physical Ethernet layer, yeah? but actually, I will mark this. This is the usual, currently usual. Write it down. Just that you understand what this means, 1000 megabit per second. Usually the transfer rates of our hard drives are lower. So streaming and so on, zack, 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 full HD, 4K, everything is possible with this gigabit Ethernet. Should be sufficient. And this is why it's currently currently usual. But you know, in, in, in future we will have more more data volume probably. We always got more, more and more. Good. So this is even that physical layer. All right. Next time we are going to talk about a different topic. Next time we are talking about uh, the frame. Yeah? How does a frame look like? What is on the wire? How does an Ethernet frame look like? What are the slots? Uh, how is this working? Signaling. Also, what is this? Yeah? Also still physical layer, yeah? but, but signals. How is the Ethernet frame look? How does the Ethernet frame look like? Next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.